Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this video I will guide you through probably my favorite breathing exercise and it's because it's a combination of many different things. So it's a full complete practice. We're combining four different methods of practice from mudras, bandhas and breathing exercises in one. It's very seamless and very flowy and pretty simple to do. Before we start, I need to mention that you should not do this one if you are pregnant because it includes breath holds. And you also should not do this practice when you're on your moon because it involves the lower bandhas and the lower locks in your body and you don't really want to lock those while you're on your moon. So once you're done with your pregnancy or once you're done with your moon and you can come back to this practice and do this class. The practice today includes four different parts or methods. The first one is Kapalbhati, which is the breath of fire. Most of you are already familiar with this one. I've shared it also in different tutorials and in also in classes. The second one is Maha Bandha, which is engaging all the three locks, the root lock, the abdominal lock and the throat lock. Mula Bandha, Uyana Bandha and Jalandara Bandha. So all the three we engage at one or at once and this one is then called the great lock Mahabandha and I will give more details about that. After that we do what's called the yogic breath or the three-part breathing or also known as Dirga Pranayama where you breathe fully into the belly then let the breath travel up into the chest into the rib cage and then even further up into the neck and maybe even up to the head and to exhale you do the reverse order from the head down to the to the chest rib cage down to the belly so it's this wave kind of motion from belly chest neck and then going back down and then very lastly towards the end of one round we are doing ashwini mudra which is the engagement and training of the anus sphincter muscle which gets usually weaker as we get older so you want to take action now and hopefully prevent that from happening by training that a little bit it also has a lot of other benefits of training the pelvic floor increasing the rising energy and also the sexual energy so many many benefits in this one practice of ashwini mudra and also in especially in the complete whole practice that we're doing i will break it down a bit more and then we will do one round together and then it should be pretty clear and you can continue with up to five rounds of this practice. Personally, in my own practice, I do three or four rounds. That feels very good for me, but depending on the day, you can do less, you can do more. Up to five is something I recommend and you can also do this practice daily. So this is more of a tutorial style video. So we'll, I will explain a bit more and dive deeper into all the different parts. Then we will practice together and then it should be hopefully clear to you and you can continue on your own. So it's not a follow along. I'm not guiding you through five rounds. I will guide you through one round and then you can continue on your own. So this video might be a little bit longer because I'm explaining more, but if you do this practice and if you do three rounds on your own, it takes less than 10 minutes, probably even just five to six minutes or something like this to do all three rounds. So let's look a little bit closer into the individual parts, especially if you're not familiar with them. I will give a short overview, but I need to refer you to the tutorials that I have in the breathing exercise or pranayama playlist, where you see a more detailed breakdown of all the different parts that we're doing today in this practice, and we're just putting it all together. The first one is Kapalbhati, the breath of fire, where we are doing 36 breaths. You want to exhale almost all the air out, about 95 or even more percent of all the air should be out. And then you start to push the remaining air that's still in your body out through the nose, as if you have something in your nose that you want to push out. And the inhale then happens automatically. So you focus only on the exhale, you find that good rhythm and you're doing 36 of those breaths. And it looks and sounds like this. So as you do this, you want to sit nice and tall. You can close your eyes and I recommend putting the hands on your legs 
you can also put the thumbs inside your hand and then close the four fingers that might increase the effect of this breathing exercise but it's not mandatory after those 36 breaths meaning you did the last the 36 pushing out through the nose you keep pushing and exhaling all the air out until the body is fully empty then we're going into the Mahabandha now so once the body is fully empty you start to engage the pelvic floor and the anus muscle and also the muscle that you're engaging when you want to hold your pee and you engage the bottom then you bring the chin to the chest to close the throat lock and only then you pull the belly in and up towards the spine for the abdominal lock also known as Udhyana Bandha in the yoga tradition you're holding that remember all after the exhale for as long as you can and then when you feel this hunger for air and you feel this slight stress coming up that you need to breathe now then you try to stay a little bit longer in that space and then you slowly start to inhale by releasing first the chin then the root and then you start to deeply breathe into the belly so now we are seamlessly entering into Dirga Pranayama, the three-part breathing. Remember that was breathing into the belly, the chest, the neck. So we initiate by releasing this long hold and drawing the belly in by inhaling into the belly, up into the chest and up into the neck and the head. You fill the lungs all the way up as full as you can and then you hold your breath there. And this then is the transition into Ashwini Mudra. So we're holding the full in breath and then you engage not the whole pelvic floor, not everything that's down there, but you try to engage only the anus muscle, the anus sphincter. So that you engage and squeeze as you hold on a full breath for about 10-15 seconds. And then we do the second part of Durga Pranayama, breathing out from the top down, so from the head, the neck, the chest, down to the belly last. Few breaths, few normal breaths, and then you continue into the second round. So this might seem like a lot, so I will do a short demonstration. I will not do all the 36 breaths and not the full hold that I can do. I will keep it shorter just for you to, to know, and I will also put some text here so you can see where we are in the practice. So it all starts with a deep breath in and then exhaling almost everything out. So simply watch first and then later I will guide you through it. Great, so now you will take a few normal breaths and then continue with your second round. Again, do a few breaths to reset and then a third round. And then if you want, do round four and five as well. The Udhyana Bandha or the Maha Bandha is also a preparation for Nali if you want to work on a deep abdominal massage, but this is the precursor to it. So you really need to be profound and good and familiar with this this one before you move on. So that might come in, in a few months or even in a few years. So the breath is really something that takes a lot of dedication to practice, lots of discipline, and it's really important for your overall health. So this is just another tool. This whole video I'm sharing is not the ultimate practice for a good breathing, a breathing rhythm or breathing pattern. It's just one more tool in, to, in the toolbox that you can use 
to develop a good breath because in yoga we understand that if you're breathing well your health is also usually well and you can control a lot of your life and of your breath and of your health with the breath so let's begin with the first round we do this all together and then i will end it and you can continue on your own let's take a deep breath in fill the lungs all the way up sit tall exhale about 95 percent out and then start with Kapalbhati, we're doing 36 breaths. Once you reach 36, push the last breath, the last air all the way out, then engage the pelvic floor. Bring the chin to the chest for the throat lock and then draw the belly in and up to the spine. Find the sweet spot that feels intense but still good. There should not be any pain there. Draw the belly in and up. Imagine really sucking the energy up from the pelvic floor towards the throat. And you're holding there for as long as you can. Let's do about 10 more seconds here just to start. Because we're all in different places. Now release the throat lock first, bring the chin up, release the root lock and then slowly breathe into the belly. Deep breath into the belly. Now we're doing Dirga Pranayama. Fill the belly all the way up. Now let the air travel up to the chest, to the throat, the neck, up to the head. Fill the lungs up as full as you can and then hold the breath there. Sit tall. Now engage only the anus sphincter, your sphincter muscle, your anus muscle and draw the energy up. Now we're doing Ashwini Mudra. And you're holding there, drawing up. Encouraging this upward rising energy flow. You're holding for another five, four, three, two, one. Release the muscle and slowly exhale from the top to the bottom. So from the head, the neck, throat, chest, down to the belly. And that concludes the first round. Take a few normal breaths. And let that, breath, let that breath also be nice and full. Breathing into the belly so that you feel the breath in the chest and in the rib cage, and then you exhale. So a good, normal, regular inhale, exhale is about five to six seconds inhale. And then five to six seconds exhale. So you can do that one between rounds and also as you go about your day when you're off the mat. So I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Again, this was just the first round guiding you through it. You can now and should continue with at least two more rounds. You make three rounds total. That also makes 108 breaths with Kapalbhati, three times 36. And then if you want, you can also do round four and five if you feel like it. If this is at some point too much energy and too intense because you're evoking a lot of upward rising energy, it's very energizing breath work. Also really powerful with those holds, getting the body into this a little bit of a stress response because you're not breathing. Super helpful to calm down and let go of anxiety and stress because you're purposely stressing the body just enough so that it kind of resets and can put things back in order and let go of this anxiety, let go of the stress. So breathing and breathing exercises are a fantastic way of relieving or releasing or lowering PTSD and anxiety and all kinds of other stressors that you might feel in your body, which are not just mentally, but of course also physical. And so by giving the right amount of stress input through the good breath work, you can help all of this a lot. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments below how you feel, especially how you're feeling after doing this daily, three, four rounds daily for several weeks. I would love to hear from you because it takes some time. It's not just an overnight thing. Yoga is the practice of discipline. So keep up the discipline practice. Thank you for showing up today to hopefully learn something new, for taking the time to focus on yourself, for focusing on your breath. And I will see you in the next one. Much love and gratitude.
Namaste.